This video is resume about the carving on the outer gallery wall of Bayon Temple again. We are continuing from the mid doorway of the west gallery here to the mid doorway of the north gallery. In this cross shaped gallery here, there is a statue of Humbeck King and there are some Apsara dancer carvings standing on the pillars to welcome the tourists. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at the sculpture on the north section of the West Gallery here. This sculpture describes about a civil war in the capital between King Yetzalbarman II and a traitor named Pertarihu to grab the throne in 1165. We can see the soldiers on both sides wearing the same uniform and they look very much similar. Here, we can see the traitor and his factions pursuing the royal soldiers to slay. And the royal soldiers trying to escape. At the last picture, we can see the commander and his mahout on the elephant got frightened and panicked. And his parasol handle is broken, got shot by the arrow. And at the bottom, his soldiers also being killed by the traitor soldiers. This bas relief is another part of the same section, but just interrupted by a door. The picture views about the royal procession from the royal palace through the jungle to celebrate the divine ceremony called Indra Pisaka. To reference the ceremony honoring to the god Indra, king of heaven. Here, we can see the king picture mounting on his elephant, putting on a military suit, left hand holding a bow, and right hand pointing forward, seems telling something to his mahout. Around the king is obviously seen the royal courtiers, commanders, ascetic sages, musicians, royal attendants, and the regiment of infantrymen parading and escorting the king to the ceremonial place up on the mountain.
Ladies and gentlemen, if you like this video and interested in Cambodian ancestral legacies, please kindly subscribe and click on notification to get all my updates. And you can give a thumb up and comment. I'm Peng Sun, a tourist guy in Cambodia. Would like to thank you in advance. Okay, we are turning left to see the carving on the west section of the North Gallery. The picture on this bas relief depicts about the mundane and military scenes. On the top, we can see the royal family in the palace. At the bottom, we can see the picture of wild animals that inhabit in Cambodia, like bear and telope gazelle and impala the picture here we can see an acrobat performing circus walking on a rope carrying two baskets with a bamboo stick on the shoulder to keep the balance next is the wrestling and at the bottom, the juggler spinning wheel on the feet and the musicians on the left playing music for them. The picture to the next interval views about the royal family and the commoners offering and consecrating the honors to the holy priests and brahmins at the temple in the jungle. Nearby the temple, there is a river, consists lots of fishes, and a crocodile on top. Okay, going to the next picture. The top panel is incomplete, and the panel at the bottom is also incomplete, but it is still recognizable. The king living for the border protection, and we can see his queen and concubines weeping and upsetting upon their husband going far away. In the front, we can see the military waiting for him and go to protect the kingdom together. This is the last footage. It portrays about the battle at the border between the Khmer and the Cham. In this war, the Khmer soldiers won because we can see the Khmer soldiers killing the jam. Here, we can see the Khmer soldiers wearing thong and looping rope across the chest and around the neck. The jam putting on a helmet, having angry face with beady eyes, reminiscent of the demons. After the interpretation about the carving in Bayon Temple, I hope you enjoy. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification to get the new updates. Thank you so much for watching this video from the beginning to the end. And I wish you all have a great day. Bye bye.